I get this question um, often, Rowan, what is your process of supporting someone in their healing? How do you help someone transform their lives? Because people do want to work with a therapist for that purpose. For me, it's really being the fullest expression of yourself. I share this process that I have and this one I created. For me, for one to transform, there's um, an acronym that I use, L-E-I, like the lay. So you could see here the picture of a lay. To completely tra change, transform, um, elevate your story, you must change the language that you use, the experience and your imagination around it. Let me just give you an example. So, you know, when you use language, um, for instance, you feel like you are not productive and you have something in your imagination about time. So these concepts, language, experience, imagination, could interweave. But just focusing on language, imagine if you're using language such as time is gold or I'm running out of time, or you tell yourself, I don't have enough time. Um, there are some idioms, right? Like beat the clock, or another one is in the blink of an eye. And not that those things are negative, but if you use them often, I mean, just think about beat the clock. And so change your language is a, a practice because Language is connected to experience and imagination. In a later video, I would hit each part more specifically. But my goal for just creating this video is to give you some framework. Um, whether in the future you wish to be supported by me or someone else, um, this is the process that I do. Um, I have a whole framework in my uh, therapy practice that I call story therapy and it's basically changing the language the experience and the imagination experience is the best way to change your experience especially when you've had <clears throat> negative imprints or abuse is to enter spaces that would give you a different if not the opposite experience the body is very intelligent and it pattern matches okay so it's, it's always on alert. As they say, it's like a smoke detector. If you have a smoke detector in your home, it'll detect the smoke, but usually, rarely, there, that there will be fire. So the body is the same way. It's like bing, 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 you know, it's alerting you because it's a uh, pattern matching. It's like it's smelling something, even though it is no longer smelling the threat, the original threat. So that is experience. And, and in my type of therapy, we do experience outside of therapy, which is onto the person to also practice, but also experiencing in the therapy room. Imagination is, uh, I made a similar video about how your imagine is not really thought that changes your story, but it's your imagination because imagination is connected with imagery and Im imagery is always connected with an emotion. So if you're able to change all those components, it is likely that you are going to change your story. That's why I call it story therapy. Let me talk briefly for those of you who are interested about the whole concept. The first part that I do is what's your story? Sometimes people just also need to to hear themselves, to be validated. So that's an important component. But here's the thing. What is the story behind the story? Often, people are in therapy for a year or years. And, and that's okay if that's your preference. But most people want to be in therapy because they have some type of issues, woundings, whatever you want to call it, that they want to resolve usually right away and of course there are tender parts of us that need tending in a much slower pace now the, sometimes the story behind the story is the one that 
you may not be capable of even sharing because you can only reach what you can reach cognitively as far as your own story. I always tell my clients, it's like a flashlight. And if the flashlight has maybe low batteries and you shine it on a freeway, you can only see as far, you know, and, and you can only tell and describe whatever it is that the flashlight have um, shown its light on. But if you have a flashlight that has like the super batteries, new batteries, then the beam would be longer. And there's a process in my story therapy where that's what we do, the story behind the story. Next is updating your outdated story. Now that you know that there's the story behind the story, that's gonna be updated. And that's a whole process um, that I could talk about um, in a later video. But finally, you want to relive, to practice your updated story. As I always say, practice makes permanence. So if you're interested in story therapy, I leave the link in the, uh, the show notes as far as how to consult for free. See if it's a good fit for you. But regardless if you access this uh, type of therapy or not, you know, you could, I hope that you found something helpful that change to change or transform your life. You want to change your language, your experience, and your imagination. Thank you for listening and talk to you soon. Bye now.